Hello friends, welcome to Texta Diesel. In this video, we will make a very useful motion control switch just by using a IR proximity sensor and a 4017 IC. Here we will use this circuit to control a toilet light but you can also connect an alarm so whenever it detects any motion the alarm will turn on. As we are using the circuit to control the toilet light so when anyone enter the toilet the light will automatically turn on then when he or she exit the light will automatically turn off and if you want you can also control the light manually with the switch. So this is a very useful project and here you can see I have used this IR proximity sensor to sense the motion and during the video I will share the circuit and all other required details so after watching the video anyone can make this project. So without any further delay let's get started. These are the required components for this project now we have to connect all these components as per this circuit diagram. In the circuit I have used 4017 IC. So whenever the IR proximity sensor sends any motion, it will generate a clock pulse with the help of this PNP transistor. Then the clock pulse will be fed to pin number 14 which is a clock pin of the 4017. Whenever it receives the clock pulse, the pin number 2 will change the state. Now when a person enters the toilet, the proximity sensor will sense the motion first time. So the first clock pulse will be applied to pin number 14. Then the pin number 2 will go to high state and the pin number 2 is connected with the base of the NPN transistor so the transistor will turn on accordingly the relay will turn on. Now when the person exit from the toilet the proximity sensor will sense the motion second time so the second clock pulse will be applied to pin number 14 so the pin number 2 will go to low state. Now we are applying low signal to the base of the NPN transistor so the transistor will turn off accordingly the relay will turn off. Before designing the PCB I have made a complete circuit on the breadboard for testing as you can see. So here is the PCB I have designed you can always download the Gava file from the video description. After designing the PCB I have placed the order from the JLC PCB. To order PCB from JLC PCB, first visit their website. You can find the link in the description. Then click on quote now. Then upload the GAVA file. Then select the quantity and color. Then click on save to cart to place the order. You can also use their PCB assembly service. For that click on quote now. Again you have to upload the GAVA file. Then select a color, then turn on this radio button for the PCB assembly. I want all the components to be soldered on the top. Then click on next. Now upload the BOM and pick and place file. Now finally check all the components. Then click on next. So this is our PCB. Then click on save to cart to place the order. In my case, I received the PCB within 7 days and the quality is really premium in this affordable price. Now we will quickly place all the components on the PCB as per the circuit. Then let me quickly solder all the components. After soldering the PCB will be look like this. After soldering let me quickly test the circuit. Now let me connect the sensor and the supply with the PCB as per the circuit. Ok it is working as I move my hand in front of the sensor the relay is changing the state. Now I will try to fit this PCB inside this box. So first I have to mark where I have to make a hole to fit this PCB inside it. Then I have to cut it as per the marking. Here I will place the switch to turn on and off the supply for the PCB. And these two holes for the LED. Here you can see I have made all the holes on this box to place the PCB inside. Now this is our PCB. Let me place it inside the box. So this will be our LEDs and here I will place the switch to turn on and off the sensor then this is our motion sensor let me place it also now I will connect this switch in series with this terminal whenever the switch will be on the PCB will get the supply then I will secure the PCB using some screws so here you can see I have placed the PCB inside this box and this is a switch to turn on and off the supply to this PCB 
and here is our sensor and of course we can adjust the range from this screw now let me check everything is okay now let me drill some holes so that i can fit this box on the wall then fit this box on the wall now i'll place the sensor again now we'll connect the pcb sensors as per the circuit in the circuit here you can see the ac 220 volt supply this switch is connected in parallel with the relay so we can also control the light manually with this switch and with this switch we can give the supply to this pcb so if you turn off the switch the sensor will not work but if you turn on this switch the sensor will sense the motion and accordingly the relay will control this light now once again i will check all the connection then we will quickly test whether the circuit is working or not great our project is ready now we have to see it in action so our motion control toilet light is ready let me turn on the supply now when anyone enters the toilet the light will automatically turn on and when he or she exits the light will automatically turn off and i can also control the lights manually with this manual switch so this is a very useful project if you find this project helpful then please hit the like button and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe for more such videos thank you for watching have a great day